Excitement is building across the country for the solar eclipse. Here in New York City, people are planning viewing parties. The American Museum of Natural History is among them. They're hosting an event for families. CBS 2's Shosh Pedrosian joins us live from the Upper West Side with more on what we can expect throughout our area. Shosh, a lot of excitement. Hey, you guys, a lot of excitement. We were actually just watching a video from the last eclipse that happened in August of 2017. And it, this was a video of someone who was in that pathway where you could see complete totality. It was really cool to see the sun just completely turn to darkness. Everything changed in that one setting. And here in New York City, we're just hoping to see a glimpse of that uh, starting tomorrow. And here is everything you need to know about how to prepare and what to expect for tomorrow. We are officially counting down the hours for when Monday's total solar eclipse is expected to darken the sky for millions of people. It's a, such an amazing opportunity to be able to like get to teach people and also even experience it, like even get to experience the solar eclipse like ourselves. Students at Comprehensive Model School Project in the Bronx have spent the last few days preparing a skit about what takes place during an eclipse. The moon moves around the um, earth and it stops in, in, the, in the middle of the earth and the sun. And it is as simple as that. The total solar eclipse is when the moon will cast a shadow on earth as the planet rotates. And if you're in the right location, the experience will bring a few minutes of night like darkness in the middle of the day. In just 96 minutes from Texas to Maine, 15 states across the country will experience totality. That's more than 31 million people in its pathway. Rochester and Niagara Falls will have their few minutes to take in the once in a life opportunity. This eclipse is a gift. Just watch it and feel how incredibly lucky you are to be standing at this particular place at this particular time. Here in New York City, transit agencies like the MTA are encouraging people to take mass transit over driving to view the eclipse. New York and New Jersey DOT share the following tips on their social media. They suggest to not park on the highway or roadway shoulders, and while it isn't expected to be fully seen in our region, we could see a significant change in sunlight, and they ask drivers to be prepared to turn on headlights if needed. And of course, to keep in mind, traffic is expected to surge, so be mindful that it's best to stay on top of the latest information. As for your health and safety, doctors are suggesting you wear special glasses to protect your eyes. This is the retina. These are the cells that actually still work. And then down here, you can see this crescent of loss where the retina does not work. Yeah, of course, doctors are saying if you do look directly into the sun when the eclipse passes, it could cause permanent damage to your eyes. We have some nice sunlight coming through right now on our live shot. I actually decided to put these on. And when you do put these glasses on, these are what you're supposed to wear when you protect yourself looking at the eclipse tomorrow. It actually creates like a orange sun. You can already see the impacts of just what these could do for your eyes. Doctors say it's incredibly important to wear this tomorrow. As we've continued to mention, viewing parties will be happening all across the city tomorrow. There will be one right here at the Museum of Natural History. We are live on the Upper West Side this morning. I'm Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News. Shosh, I love the CBS glasses. I got to get myself a pair of those. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, we are ready for the solar eclipse. Our Christine Johnson will be live from Niagara Falls. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Rochester. And we'll have a team of reporters across New York and New Jersey. You can watch our Empire State Eclipse live coverage on Monday starting at 2 p.m. on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. And when the eclipse happens, don't forget to share your pictures with us here at CBS 2 New York. Just scan the QR code on your screen to upload.